The next one is an assignment operator which allows us to perform certain operations on the operand, operands using certain assignment operators. So these are the certain assignment operators. Few of them says that whether the value or you have two values that you write, one is on your left hand side and one is on your right hand side. So you write an equation. For an example here we consider three variables or three operands. These are A, B and C. And we write an equation as C is equal to A plus B. So we need to see whether the value of A plus B is equal to C or not. So these kind of operations we need to perform. The rest it says that plus equal to, in case of plus equal to what it does is that it adds the left operand with the right operand and the resulting value of this left plus right operand will be stored on your left operand. Similarly, few other are done where minus equal to, multiplication equal to, modulus equal to, divide equal to and the rest last four are nothing but use a bitwise operators. Those are and equal to, not equal to, XOR equal to. The perform, the per operations on the operands remain the same. What you do is that you perform certain operands on the right hand side and then save the value on the left hand side. Again repeating, you have two equations, one is on your left hand side, one is on your right hand side. The equation may hold a single operand or maybe multiple operands. So the value, what you do, again plus equal to, you add the right operator value to the second, uh, through the left hand side operand and then you assign the value to your left hand side. We can explain this uh, assignment operator with the help of example program where we have created a class, created certain variables holding certain value 10, 20 and C is 0. Why C is 0 here is that we are trying to perform certain operand operations on these two operands that is A and B and then store this value in C and print the value of C. In first statement you can see we are saying plus C where C is equal to A plus B. So A plus B the sum of these value will be added and stored in C and then we print C. Similarly there are certain other operations C plus equal to A which stands as C is equal to C plus A. Therefore here the C value which is nothing but a plus B. A plus B is what? 10 plus 20. Therefore, C value currently is 30. In the second equation, the C value will be retrieved from the memory where it's stored as 30. Then that 30 will be added to A. That is 30 plus 10 is 40. And now the C value will be 40 and so on. So let us now create a program and run practically to understand how assignment operators work on these operands. So let us see in this example how you can work with assignment operators where you consist of two operands here where you need to assign the value from right side operand to your left side operand where equals to here defines what should be the value over your right side and the right side value will be moved to your left side. So let us see here with an example we have created a class called assignment operator in that you have a main method. In that main method, we have written three variables. Each of the variable is of integer type where A and B are assigned with values 10 and 20 respectively. C is 0 initially. Why? Because we want to perform certain assignment operators over the A and B value and store the result in C. Therefore, C is initially holding the value as 0. The first equation that we have written, it says C is equal to A in plus B. So here we are trying to find out the sum of A plus B, right? So here it will print as A plus B that is 20, 20 plus 10 and it will be stored in C and it will be 30. But what is the main use of assignment operator? The main use of assignment operator is to make your equation short and simple where you add the right operand to your left operand and then assign the result to your left operand that is this c plus equal to a where your right operand is a which will be added to your left operand which is c and then the value of this right and left operand will be assigned to your left operand so this is equal to it can also be written as 
C equal to C plus A, right? So you are adding your right operand to your left operand and then assigning the result to your left operand. Similarly, we have certain other assignment operators where you have the minus into module, then how do you calculate each of them and then percentile and all. So it remains the same until here all these equations are the same you where you have minus into and all all of them or each of them you can say can be written as this way or you can write it as again where c is equal to c into a it's the one rule that follows for all the assignment operator is that the right operand to the left operand gets added, divided, multiplied, module and all and then the result will be stored in your left operand. But what in the case of these two? It says that left side and then right side and then finally again it has something right side. Right? So again this also can be written the same way it will move the value twice on the left side, move the value twice on the right side and so on. So let us execute this program to understand how and what would be the output. We click on F11, move the console this side just for our readability purpose. Okay, so now this is clear where you can say yes C plus C is equal to A plus B which is 30 and then this is equal to 40, right? Because now C is 30 and this equation says that C plus A. C is holding currently as 30. So it will become 30 plus 10 which is 40. Now C value is 40. The next will be 40 minus A which is 40 minus 10, 30. And then each value would be stored in C and then that C value will be picked up for your next operation. This is how you keep moving the values and this is how your assignment operators work.